Athens for St. Philip and St. James, Apostles. We have heard with our ears, O God, our forefathers have told us the deeds you did in their days, in the days of old. How with your hand you drove out the peoples and planted our forefathers in the land. How you destroyed nations and made your people flourish. For they did not take the land by their sword, nor did their arm win the victory for them. But your right hand, your arm, and the light of your countenance, because you favored them. If we have forgotten the name of our God, or stretched out our hands to some strange God, will not God find it out? for he knows the secrets of the heart. Indeed, for your sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Awake, O Lord, 
Why are you sleeping? Arise, do not reject us forever. Why have you hidden your face and forgotten our affliction and oppression? We seek down into the dust, our body cleaves to the ground. Rise up and help us and save us for the sake of your steadfast love. Lord, rise up and come to our aid. You are the King who knows the secrets of our hearts. Fill us with the light of truth, and with your strong arm, lead us to freedom, as you mightily delivered our ancestors for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. You servants of God, your master proclaim and publish abroad his wonderful name. The name all victorious of Jesus extol. His kingdom is glorious and rules over all. Our God rules on high, almighty to save. And still he is nigh, his presence we have. The great congregation his triumph shall sing, ascribing salvation to Jesus our King. Salvation to God who sits on the throne. Let all cry aloud, and honor the Son. The praises of Jesus the angels proclaim, fall down on their faces and worship the Lamb. Then let us adore and give him his right, all glory and power and wisdom and might. All honor and blessing with angels above, and thanks never ceasing, and infinite love. For St. Philip and St. James, a reading from the prophet Isaiah, the 30th chapter. Therefore the Lord waits to be gracious to you, and therefore he exalts himself to show mercy to you. For the Lord is a God of justice. Blessed are all those who wait for him. For a people shall dwell in Zion, in Jerusalem. You shall weep no more. He will surely be gracious to you at the sound of your cry. As soon as he hears it, he answers you. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet your teacher will not hide himself any more. But your eyes shall see your teacher and your ears shall hear a word behind you, saying, This is the way, walk in it, when you turn to the right or when you turn to the left. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the congregation in Corinth, the second letter, the fourth chapter. Do 
Therefore, having this ministry by the mercy of God, we do not lose heart, but we have renounced disgraceful, underhanded ways. We refuse to practice cunning or to tamper with God's word, but by the open statement of the truth, we would commend ourselves to everyone's conscience in the sight of God. And even if our God is veiled, it is veiled only to those who are perishing. In their case, the God of this world has blinded the minds of the unbelievers to keep them from seeing the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For what we proclaim is not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, with ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. For God, who said, Let light shine out of darkness, has shone in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior. Born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. O Lord Christ, good shepherd of the sheep, you seek the lost and guide us into your fold. Feed us and we shall be satisfied. Heal us and we shall be made whole. Make us one with you, for you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to know you is to have eternal life. Grant to us to know your Son as the way, the truth, and the life, and guide our footsteps along the way of Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, 
one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, by the waters of baptism you have given new birth to those who believe in you. Come to the help of all who have been reborn in Christ, that they may overcome the wiles of the devil and faithfully keep hold of the gift they have received from you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God, through the mighty resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, you have liberated us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your, etern of your love. Grant that, as he was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we may walk in newness of life and look for those things which are in heaven, where with you, Father, and the Holy Spirit, he is alive and reigns forever and ever. Amen. O God, you unlocked the way to eternity by conquering death for us through your only Son, Promise that you will, therefore, help us to pursue this new hope which you have inspired in us. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome in adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord, thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen.